mi via. Oh bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, 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 partigiano, portami via, che mi sento di morire. E se io muoio da partigiano, oh bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, 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 e se muoio... What is up guys, The Books here again, welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2. We're playing Rob's Realism Mod and I am very excited to be back here again with another battle. So, uh, in today's video, we are in Italy uh, during Operation Avalanche. Uh, this is a um, village or a coastal town near Salerno. So this is during the Allied invasion of Salerno, which is south and east of the main Gustav line, you know, the bigger... Um, uh, defensive lines in Italy, uh, which were meant to protect uh, Rome and any area further north. Uh, they invaded Salerno and landed troops here um, shortly after the successful invasion of Sicily. Uh, they did meet some resistance here, but uh, more of the heavier fighting came further north during uh, Monte Cassino. Uh, any fighting near the Gustav Line, and of course uh, during the uh, next invasion and landing which uh, occurred near Anzio, uh, the invasion of Anzio. And which later led to capturing Rome and uh, yiri yadi yududu. This is not a history uh, history lesson, uh, but it, <laughs> it can be, it can be, but I, I gotta catch myself. Um, and I'm gonna catch you with a sniper rifle trying to tell people when this video begins. It begins right now. This battle begins right now. Test me, look. Boom. I just clicked start. You don't need to link anyone anywhere. Arr, fucking shoot you. Anyway, <laughs> woo! I am ready for a battle. And uh, we have here the 46th or 56th British Infantry Division. It's not that I don't know which one, it's that they were both here during the invasion. Further north here we had uh, US Rangers landing in the Amalfi Coast. And we also have um, British Commandos landing more directly into the city of Salerno. Uh, oh boy, we've got an MG42 on that bridge and it is zeroing us in here. Uh, we gotta run to the side and avoid that line of fire. Oh boy, it is a slaughter. But we're gonna save some good men here. We're gonna get to the center area here where we can uh, we can rest for a minute, I suppose, before we begin attacking. There's an entrance up here, but it is covered by, as you can tell, an MG42, which is a significantly uh, much harder task than just walking in. Um, I do hear the second company arriving now, which is good. First company is under heavy fire. Able company. Jesus. Okay, we're getting a few soldiers in. That's a good start. And with the boat here on the left side, let's land them s more safely to the, to the left here by the rocks. So we avoid that big nasty old MG42. We have a second MG up there on the high ground. It's opening up at any infantry trying to sort of breach the center here. This is going to be a massacre. This is absolutely a lot more violent than the actual invasion of Salerno um, during Operation Avalanche. I'd say this is also... Um, how should I put it? Um, the, the, the 16th uh, Panzer Division was here at the time. A lot of the units that were in Italy came from Africa at the time as well. Um, so there was a lot of, like, you know, deserty people, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, they were they were sandy. They had they have sand in their shoes. Uh, no, but so there wasn't any super heavy fighting during the invasion, because th there was, of course, a German division here at the time, but they weren't super defensive or dug in in the area. Uh, so casualties weren't as great here as they were, say, during the uh, the invasion of Anzio further north. So we've got a, a lot of awesome scenery here. Uh, British troops along the sort of um, the beach wall here, or the river wall. I mean, this is a, this is sort of the, the riverbed. It's somewhat dry, I suppose. We've, we're in a tide. Is this a tide when the water is low, or is that a... I'm not sure what you call that, the opposite, but yeah. Um, a fifth boat is arriving as well, quite good. I think we need to focus our powers on, on sort of linking up with the left side. They're doing significantly better. And there is also a, a German Panzer IV and infantry reinforcements. We're going to need that armor to roll in any time now. 
And there we go. What do you know? When you say it, sometimes it just happens. We've got a firefly rolling in now from one of the nearby beaches. And I think we might just flood this guy with bodies, and we did so. Sometimes that just works. I hope we have enough bodies to spare. Who knows? We've taken a lot of casualties here, and the left side isn't doing all too well. Just because I said so. We still have MGs up there. They're still covering, like, the, 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 uh, the different exits. The different beach exits. They've got them all covered. This is living hell. But we have captured the center, so now we can establish ourselves on even ground here with the Germans. And send in lots of troops. Uh, yes, we have a lot of soldiers here. And this Firefly is gonna come in handy. We do have some infantry around here as well that can support it. Is that Panzer Force still active? I don't think it is. It, it does look like it's lost its ability to, to turn its turret and shoot. But just for the sake of it, and since I am in, I'm in command here of this situation, I will, uh, I will grab this Firefly and move it up to the high ground. Look at the be how beautiful this map is, by the way. It's called Jelis Jelisa by SL Schlaberlachs. It's available over on the Steam Workshop, and ooh, it's also meant to be a multiplayer map, although I've converted it to a really cool beach landing map. So that's just one of the cool things you can do here using the editor. Was that as someone trying to fire a Piat? Which is like one of the worst anti-tank weapons of all time, or at least most inaccurate. Look at this guy. He's trying. Come on, deliver one hell of a shot. One you can be proud over. Tanker. One that's better than that. Whatever that was. Okay, so this Panzer IV is made of the best Swedish steel you could ever imagine. Okay, and over here on the left side, things are hotter than they used to be. I heard a tank. I was true. And correct, we have another Firefly arriving here on the left side of the town. Sorry about any potential death threats. I don't usually mind people telling other people when when they can skip the or that they can skip to a certain point of the video to to avoid me talking it's not that i don't mind it's the fact that i'm i'm providing you with historical background and i, I just i'm not going to shoot anyone of course i have shooters that will do that don't worry you know but just saying you know just saying it's, it's like it's, there's nothing wrong with spending a few more extra minutes of your life uh, that you sp otherwise would have spent on terrible reality tv or something uh, just to listen to some historical facts about the battle you're about to then spend, I don't know, 10-15 minutes watching. Fulfill fill yourself with numbers, divisions, dates, and years, and areas, and code names, and operations, and other things that might come in handy. When, say, dating the love of your life or something. I don't know, you might want to show her, her how intelligent you are by, by being able to... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> List the very exact events of D-Day or something. I, I don't know. Another firefly is rolling down the street. There's a lot of German block boys around here. With uh, Glock 9s, with Extendos, and... Uh, oh, God, what, am I, what am I doing? I don't know. We've got a mortar back there, and it's under fire from the firefly right now. On this side of things, the firefly is still trying to disable the uh, German Panzer IV. I don't know what's going on here. This is a bit of a rare occasion. But more British infantry is starting to secure the downtown areas here. We have snipers and all kinds of nasty German infantry up there that we have to root out before we can call this a victory. So I'm going to send in one set number of troops that way. Uh, another set number of troops that way. Because every time I hit that little left bu mouse button, it sends... Oh, that's Skype. And then that should be it. Boom. Hopefully I can avoid that. Um. There we go. Hear the Germans? There's mortars on either side of the town center here. We have one on the right side. Over there, with minimal infantry. Uh, it seems to be an MG or two. 
Some infantry, interesting. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Did we finally knock out the Panzer for you? I think this Firefly considers that job done. So let's go ahead and send it forth. We have a little meeting here. Oh, jeez, fuck! Why does it appear on my computer and why does it make a noise? This never happens. This is beautiful, though. Firefly. Just roaring its way down the road. With British infantry on the side. Moving up as well. That is just a sight to behold. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Looks like we have an MG team up here. Oh, that's awesome as well. Of course, I've made the battle, so some of you might find it odd that I react to it. But sometimes I react to it because of the pure visual beautifulness and st how stunning things are at times. Not because I didn't know that there was an MG soldier there, even though at many times I do forget where I've placed soldiers, if that makes any sense. Well, we have to capture the town square, and there's definitely German soldiers still here, so that is going to be our final test as we are defeating the two mortar teams on either side of the, uh, the town, one way or another. We're bringing up armor, but we're taking a lot of close artillery fire here as mortars are dropping shells on our British infantry, moving up. Look how beautiful this is! Can you fathom this? Didn't crash, I'm joking. Uh, just uh, just paused to take a screenshot. Although I did hit the wrong button, I hit the pause button instead and I thought I'd crash for a second, then I realized I didn't. Because, uh... Yeah. Because I've, I've done... I've crashed enough recently. Alright, well that mortar is down. And done for. So we can move any infantry, although I think they will move on their own. This is beautiful. They're going to be moving in for the for the town center now. Although I think we've captured it. British infantry. Well, there's a German squad leader here. Perhaps he's the mastermind of the defense here, which was somewhat successful. Although they have been beaten back. We saw a little moonwalk down there. Oh, yeah. He knows they're here. So he must be the final German. And uh, it's his lucky day. They're running around. Because tea and crumpets are being served down at the beachhead. Cool. We're going to call this one a GG, a victory for the British, and ultimately we're going to summarize the invasion of Salerno here with a beautiful map and a beautiful battle as well. Hope everyone did enjoy this somewhat short but hectic fight. They don't need to be big all the time, but if you want something really big, go back and watch my uh, tug of war um, that was created uh, entirely by Grizzly. Which is a beautiful, beautiful map with a beautiful, beautiful battle. Uh, it is very much larger. It also is a lot more troublesome to try and record. Although I did manage to get one and a half hours of footage, about one hour of fighting. And the battle and map will be available for everyone to download over on the workshop in about uh, three weeks' time-ish. Two, three, I don't know. First May, May 1st. I suppose that's in about three weeks. Depends on when you're watching it, though, so yes. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed. And I will see you guys soon again. Until next time, you guys enjoy. Ciao.